welcome to this video so i know i said i will not be posting any cricket videos you know after that final video so i saw some people saying in the comment section of the video you know that welcome back you are back you are back i'm not back guys the thing is if i have to be back i would love to be you know i would love to be i would still love to be a multi game streamer or content creator but for that i would need some really good pc like you know 4070 super and uh, i5 13th gen kind of a thing because i can't keep adjusting you know lowering the settings and keep on playing on lower settings over and over and over again because the struggle to run the game itself is so frustrating that playing the game becomes like a a far fetched thing for me so if that happens i might come back you never know but this video is just created for me to be able to share things because if i enjoy something in a game i want to share that with others so that so that others can also enjoy that simple but i have come across this amazing slider settings which i want to share with you guys because my thought is always very simple if i am enjoying something in the game i want everybody to enjoy that simple whenever i can give something i'll try to give it that is why this video all right i'm going to make a detailed video talk about everything how it came about what was the thought behind it and uh, you know what are the values we'll see we'll see that later as well and we'll also see the values later obviously first things first if you are someone who is not patient enough to watch the whole video just skip to the part where the values are shown and uh, go enjoy it only thing is if there are things which i have addressed in the video but you have not watched the video fully i will not be replying to the comments which you know ask question which are already addressed in the video so that is the only thing all right first things first how did we come about this thing mani and myself we were playing co-op okay uh one thing which is very frustrating in this cricket 24 for me is it's just so repetitive where it just doesn't feel like cricket anymore i i was like oh i'm playing this game itself is like getting boring uh and also one big issue with this game is you just cannot pierce the gaps so i told mani why not we go to you know cricket 22 and see how that game feels right now because i remember that you can cr create and uh, create the shots and angles and hit the shots the gaps which was not happening which is not happening in cricket 24 so i was like okay let's go and we installed the game and i went into the game only to realize that i had created a set of uh, you know slider settings for myself because i was i always try to experiment with the values and uh, this slider value which was already there i was not even aware of we ended up playing with it and we we were we were having really amazing time and we were like why not try this in cricket 24 and see how that feels in that game to my surprise i was we were having such an amazing time so many moments created and the experience was authentic that's the best part of it. it it didn't feel like the game is trying to do something you know it's like coded it's like if you your your uh, wicket is already set by the ai so you just cannot do anything about it it's not like that it's like you made a mistake and that is the reason you gave away the wicket as well that's the best part so i also one thing i want to talk about is the reason behind getting the combinations right in this uh, game was one thing we realized was for things to happen in the game like misses and you know different kind of uh, dismissals and uh, have more depth in the gameplay since big and studios games are most of them are just timing based games uh 
if they are the priority okay timing if you track the timing you are like a pro in the game it's like that kind of a thing which is not a good thing because you can get away with lot of things uh but we felt like that was very important thing to do and with this setting what is happening is we are getting early okay good ideal and late timing within short span of time so the decision making of the shots the shot selection the angle of the shots the areas you play the deliveries you play whether you should be playing at it or not the ball movement everything matters and even the swing everything matters so if you are playing one flawed shot or a shot which you shouldn't have played or a, or a delivery which you should have left and you are poking at it you will get out it is that kind of a slider setting and it's going to give you the authentic experience for test matches you can try it out for odis as well but as of now this is for proper test match experience let's go all right pudu nama test pudu means new nama test that's the name of the slider setting now first thing first legend difficulty striker timing also i have to mention this i have bowled for two innings to the ai and they have scored 400 plus once in the second innings once in the first innings uh, in the first innings when they scored 420 when i bowled around 150 overs or something they gave away nothing to me so in that they three people scored centuries as well and i tried to bowl whatever variation i can in the game i tried everything but ai just played really good cricket i wouldn't say extraordinary but good cricket uh, also the dismissals whenever it happened it felt like i earned it because i just got the you know the the the, the right delivery at the right spot and that delivery deserved a wicket kind of thing i would like things to get better in this because ai still lacks in many areas like you know missing the deliveries and uh, um, defending down the wrong line it just it lacks the depth which it, sh- it should have uh, in the game by now but it doesn't because you know it's it's always some a gray area where you want things to happen but it never happens uh, but so far i would say the experience has gotten better to what it was usually before uh, so these are the values okay strike a timing at 25 because you want them to start slowly and then you know build their innings so that's the reason wicket chance i had it at 30 or 35 something this just didn't give me anything so either 45 or 50 you should be good with these settings and bowl quality at 100 they bowl well at 100 so i have it at 100 run rate is at 50 for test matches guys okay the main crucial spot in this is the striker timing along with the combination of the run rate they are able to go at a consistent pace and also play good shots to get boundaries or rotate strike everything is happening could be better that is games thing we can't do much about it okay run rate is this bowling same as before 25 25 85 80 if i have changed anything from number test uh, these are the new values batting is the main thing okay uh, footwork on short replacement off ball marker display time uh, i had it at 15 but i was when you know the bug happened of the pitch marker not showing up uh, early i went to 25 and it just is at 25 i didn't bother with it but you can can have it at 15 or 20 based on your own preference uh, but it is very important to have some some kind of assistance because the thought behind uh, you know creating such slider setting is to let you play authentic cricket not just go and go in and just keep lofting uh, you know go on the offside and keep lofting down the leg side and say yeah he is not doing well 
you have to play proper way take proper stance try to play shots in a manner where you feel like you have earned those runs that's all we we want to create that kind of an environment for ourselves okay so early shot late shot something it it does something on zero so zero for both short timing difficulty 100 advanced shot 60 spin timing this is something which i don't know what's happening with spin but i am getting this early timing uh, off late after the last patch so i don't really know what's happening but right now 80 is working fine uh, i used to have it at 98 but 80 is working fine now if at all i change some anything i might try to update it in the comment section okay pace timing window this is very important guys default is 83 have it at 80 these values are very important this value timing window value and another value in the physics one very very important okay pace timing window 80 striker skill 5 foot placement this is like very tough uh, slider setting so slightly reduce it to not get frustrated because the footwork in this game again is not done well in my opinion because you can have footwork aiming at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock i don't know who puts their foot towards that direction to play in real life because for me it's like towards the ball means i will go towards 1 o'clock or 11 o'clock or whatever you know it should be towards the ball not like to to the side of the delivery i don't know why that is the case but if that was done well we would have gotten much better uh, experience hopefully in the next game so foot placement for our sake 95 if you are struggling go to 90 or 85 depending on your skill set okay uh, bowl quality in plus 100 ideal input power boost like i said it's very difficult to get ideal timing every time in this so when you get ideal timing you deserve that extra boost on the delivery so that it travels to the boundary and you feel like ah nice shot okay that's the thing power input poor input sorry poor input power penalty zero uh, money set something it works it does something on zero so we, i still have it at zero but i really don't know what it does uh, power boost nothing full toss it at 20 adjust everything at default 10 40 100 same thing uh, low striker high striker 0 0 that is also default timing window guys another most important slider of this slider setting values 85 pace timing window 80 timing window 85 very 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 important okay aggressive shot nothing play play and miss input play and miss skill 0 100 all right fielding i don't care minimum maximum physics minimum pace slower delivery will will come even slower so if you want more challenge go to 60 65 don't go beyond that because it might feel very weird when slower deliveries come so try to have it around 55 60 65 max okay i feel i am good at 55 if i am like very comfortable i might go to 60 that is all i won't go 65 pace max another very important slider for this slider values because at this pace that zip that feel of the delivery is so authentic and i really like it but if you are someone who who feels like you will struggle have it at 90 80 or something like that don't go really low because the aim here is to have early timing window late timing window happen in the same delivery so if you lower the you know the speed of the delivery way too much you might not be able to achieve those windows that's the issue okay if those windows don't happen you will not get more varied experience in the game simple next thing pace bowling bouncer length slightly reduced 45 spin bowling bounce where is there is the, you know the faster trajectory 45 flight is reduced 40 swing is at 85 because you want to miss those deliveries where the swing is happening 
and you have just played a wrong shot or you have just poked at it those kind of things 85 pace revolution 40 14 because if there is movement of the pitch it doesn't feel like some off spinner coming in and bowling at 140 150 we don't want that 14 drift and revolution for spin 30 30 the most ultimate important test slider setting slider value in this slider setting is pitch friction what it does is the ball holds on to the pitch and does the variation of movement in a way where you will be deceived by the delivery so whatever movement it, it is you have to watch the ball really 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 closely so if you are someone who likes playing test i would say defend for 20 25 overs defend leave watch the ball closely because if you want to uh, immerse yourself in such an experience you have to give it the time it cannot be like uh, you know you just go in and you are just playing it just like that you have to give it the time practice give it the time you know play play just to get out and see how you feel try to read the deliveries try to read the movement of the pitch that's the reason i keep saying pro cam pro cam sorry close cam close cam but people are not interested in it people are interested in it people want to try it out your wish but to me close cam the best and the most ultimate experience which is given by the game which i play on which i keep suggesting people but it is what it is if you want to try it out try it out because you can read the deliveries you can read the movement of the pitch everything pitch friction 85 very very important okay pitch bounce again you are reducing the bounce a bit so so that the zip happens ball friction is also increased a bit to slightly have that exaggerated movement it's not very exaggerated it is just enough so it feels good ball bounce is slightly reduced again shot force is at 50 uh, ball bounce was at 25 uh, where you know the costco ball bounce if you don't want that i said have it at 25 it feels good but for this what happened was when you have it at 25 the ball just doesn't travel at all so if you want the ball to travel and go for boundaries and stuff 50 or 45 you have to come at it and guys the bounce is not unrealistic so it is a good thing all right another uh, thing is short force at 50 that is default visual speed don't touch it default is at 70 have it at 70 don't try to change this because whatever speed you want to change change it at the pace max pace not visual speed okay 70 combination of 100 max pace and 70 works really well have it at that same exact value spin bowling visual speed 70 again i am trying to work out what works well for spin to get better timing and uh, also late timing in spin i am getting late timing as well but it's like i still want to get that you know the the balance right so if i do get some value i will try to post it in the comment section or make a separate video if it needs to be that way so these are all the values which you should try out and tell me in the comment section how you felt because your experience is what will give me an idea about how these values are working for the broader audience because i play the game in a certain way my approach to shot making and how i make runs is different to yours so try it out and it works really well for pro controls I don't really know whether it will work for uh, standard controls because standard controls there is always foot assistance footwork assistance done by the game for you uh, so in terms of 
getting different things because of lack of footwork won't happen for uh, you know standard controls so try it out on standard controls and tell me what you think about it because i would like to know there is the, the, the issue with standard control is once you crack the timing window you are like god in this game so that's the issue but it's worth trying out i know the pace is really high i know the ball might not be like a oh, what the heck is happening kind of a thing but give it the time uh, trust yourself give it the time uh, understand that it is important to read the read the deliveries and give uh, respect to the deliveries where something is happening off the pitch so in in grassy pitches in dry pitches and grassy dry in dusty pitches everywhere you will have something different in these values so try it out and tell me your experience give it the time trust the process and grind it out to get better at it because it's not something you know where you just will just keep timing ideal 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 and you will get 400 500 just like that because i used to do that i got bored of it that's the reason i stopped playing the game as well but now i am very much interested in playing the game so try to tell me in the comment section all right guys so that is it for this video i hope you guys found this video fun to try you know uh, i hope you got the kind of results i am getting right now and uh, whatever you experience comment section thank you for watching i will see you in the next one no i will see you okay